As a commentary channel who covers other channels on YouTube, I feel like I've seen plenty of channels that get into drama out of the simple fact that they are doing out of pocket things out of desperation for views and clout. The best example of this is with the Island Boys. They were the music artists, I'm putting that very lightly, that we covered on the channel over a year ago. And they were pretty cringe back then. They blew up because of their Island Boys song and started to build their online following by replying to their TikTok comments or remixing that same exact song a bunch of times for their TikTok. But after that viral song that turned them into an overnight meme, the Island Boys, Fly Soldier and Kodiak Red had struggled to stay relevant shortly after that. So like any creator who blows up overnight, lets the clout get to their head and act like they are big time rappers, they kissed each other. Oh, ew, dude, what the fuck? Okay, fine, that was just one of their public stunts that they did do to try to get attention after failing to capitalize off of their short stint in the creator limelight. But for the most part, it worked at least for a few months, until they'd become irrelevant online once again. Today we take a look back at the Island Boys and all of the insane things that they have been trying to do for the past couple of months in order to get buzz around their name once again. Like hanging out with Jack Doherty at his house for his live streams, or jumping on live streams with Aiden Ross and showing their meat in order to get internet news channels like Drama Alert to cover their online antics to again boost their online attention and clout. So strap in because today on the channel I take you on a cringe roller coaster ride in order to look at the island boys rise fall rise and fall again into irrelevancy and the many attempts to generate a buzz around their name now if you're new to the channel and enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel now let's get into the video now we all know how the island boys got their fame on the internet but i'll do a quick rundown of the events leading up to where we last left off in our previous video which came out over a year ago in october of 2021 the island boys exploded in popularity on tiktok when they'd post their first freestyle song i'm an island boy boy i'm just trying to make it and i'm an island boy i'm gonna keep it like an island boy Okay, that's that's enough of that. This TikTok sent them into an overnight success, but for all the wrong reasons. People started to clown on the Island Boys for the way they pronounced words during the freestyle and their whole style in general. From their clothing that they were wearing to their absurd hairstyle that was eye-catching but looked insane. They were easily clowned on by the internet, but this once again boosted their online fame. They'd reply to the haters within their videos and it would only make them all that more viral. The Island Boys song blew up to over 20 million views on TikTok, and when they finally came out with the full song on their YouTube channel, that video also generated over 24 million views. But that was the most viewed video they'd ever receive on their channel. This freestyle was their pinnacle on YouTube and on TikTok, and they knew it. They'd rinse and repeat the song on TikTok a bunch of times with different lyrics every single time. But when they tried to upload new videos or anything else that strayed away from their original claim to fame, they'd get very little attention, which led them into a cycle of continuing to come back to the same old content. Now for them, they may have thought the song put them on. Like there were some new musical geniuses who changed the game with their flow and line delivery. But I'm just trying to make it. But people were laughing at them and not with them. They were a meme at this point, but for some reason, they didn't realize it. Their online career started to slow down and they'd start to appear on interviews. The most notorious interview was on the Impulsive podcast with Logan Paul, where the Island Boys started beef with George Janko because of the advice he'd try to give them during the interview, where George would tell them that they should sell their jewelry if they ever went broke. He never implied that they were going broke, but it was just a worst case scenario of your jewelry assets and invest in something. So you guys will never ever be broke again. So I don't think there's gonna ever gonna be a broke situation, but I'm saying like, if you guys- Jewelry, it can't be worth that much, man. I don't think you're gonna flip that into yeah. a retirement. No, you could definitely <laughs> flip their yeah. jewelry into For, God, a down man, payment or something, one, for sure. One, let me tell you something. George, stop talking. We have multiple. <laughs> Wait, that was. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that was got, that was nah, for you doing, guys. Yeah, you, you that wasn't like a hate shot. I don't need I don't yeah. need financial yeah, advice when I probably make more money than you. you. But that was me being nice. It wasn't okay. me being like an asshole. I could really be an asshole. I could turn it up go, and be an asshole. Be an asshole. It's not gonna that. go in your favor. But look, no, it could go in my favor. Like, you really don't want to go there, bro. I could go there because okay, I, I was giving you guys nice advice and you guys were being assholes. Hey, George, keep talking. I'm walk out. I'm right here, you guys. Okay. So what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, you guys are throwing a lot of threats. I'm sitting right here. No one's threatening you. You guys said it's not gonna go my way. Yeah. 
Uh, this is not the new no, boys. Jokes, we don't do fake over here. Yeah, what are you, are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, huh, man? All right, I'm not scared of you guys either. Okay, so just keep it like that. Feel me? I th- I'm gonna I'm gonna step in for a hey, second. Just, I, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. Podcast. No. Here, I'm moving for you. I was giving you nice advice, bro. I I agree with that. Did I did I say anything mean? I, you fucked up. That makes no sense. What the well, fuck I think are you, you saying? No, I said if God bro, forbid it doesn't work it? out. Bro, who are you? Who's you? <laughs> <laughs> this guy? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 have. I'm not showing up. I said if God forbid, which means an hey, accident, hey, bro, if God hey, forbid, bro. a situation hey, you know would happen. Am, bro? You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know that, right? Why don't we just let Cooler Heads prevail? Why don't we happened? just let Cooler Listen Heads me. prevail? You know how to do listen, that. I told you, end it already. You haven't ended it. You keep on talking about it. But you just said it's right now. It's probably because the cameras are still on. After this interview, the tide would shift. People online saw that the Island Boys thought that they were the shit. Like they were on top, and no one can tell them otherwise. But they were severely mistaken. Their views fell off immediately after this interview, and people started to call the brothers out for the way that they were acting during the Logan Paul interview. With one of the brothers actually replying to the comments saying, Okay, but to you, this is the problem. Me and you are two different people. If someone's talking about your financials to you, it's not a problem for you. But if someone's talking about my financials, I don't want to hear it. You're not the one that's making me millions of dollars. I made millions of dollars myself. You know what I'm saying? It's just me doing it myself alone, you dig? Him, he ain't never made me no million dollars. He doesn't have to give me my financial advice. Tell me to sell my jewelry that I worked so hard for and I accomplished. I don't got to do that. Because I make money so I don't have to no, sell nothing. So he's wrong. He's incorrect. I have the right to feel any type of way. It's my opinion. If I didn't like it, I didn't like it. So that's why I walked off. You you might like the, you might think that he's right. But there's no right or wrong. It's how I felt. The podcast wasn't for you. It was for me. Man, stop, man. You know, you know for a fact that man won't fold me, man. Let's be positive, though, man. On the positive note, man, it was going to be a very good podcast, but someone had to ruin it by speaking nonsense. Later on, one of the brothers would get into some controversy with his ex-girlfriend. He'd be physically and verbally abusive towards her on her live stream and offline. This was documented by her on Instagram stating, Y'all want to be an island girl so bad. Go ahead and be one. Let me show you what it's like to be an island girl, beat on every day, treated like nothing. Don't believe the fairy tale they sell you. This was bad press for Fly Soldier, and with the claims of him abusing his girlfriend, it just soured the taste of anyone who was still supporting the duo after how they handled the impulsive drama with George. Then the Island Boys ex-manager would go on the No Jumper podcast and tell Adam that the Island Boys owed him a ton of money, over $100,000, and that they made all their money off of Cameo, usually taking a full night in order to fulfill as many Cameos as possible within a short time frame to generate as much money as possible. But even the Cameo money was starting to dry up at this point, and they were struggling financially. The ex-manager would also tell Adam and company that he walked in on the Island Boys doing some pretty weird stuff together in the bathroom. The Island Boys thing, what's going on? They did poker dirty. Crazy. Yeah, they, they did you dirty how? Yeah, they just they owe me about like $150,000. From what? Your percentage of the cameo money? Yeah. Is that the only money they're bringing in? Um mostly maybe a little bit on TikTok, but I mean it's pretty much run dry <clears throat> at this point. Right. 2 3 hours a night straight cameos, but like that's literally the only source of income. Holy shit. And um it's pretty much over. So what happened what happens when nobody wants a cameo anymore? Yeah, because I mean, that doesn't feel like it's going to last they forever. Much, they're, they're canceled everywhere. Like, they can't really go outside like that. Right. They're definitely canceled at No Jumper. <laughs> Island Boys got kidnapped. You told me they was yeah, doing right. some sus shit in the room that one day. Niggas was touching each other's penises. Yeah, or I don't even want to. Wait, like, what? Yeah, yeah, Island yeah. Boys got kidnapped. I don't know where the whole gangster thing comes from. Like They hit a little Island 69 or what? I, no, like, I literally, like, I was not. I was in the house living with them like, uh-huh. full time. I was, like, their daddy. Yeah. And I was, like, knocking on the door, and I'm, like... Yo, open up the door. Like, nah, bro, like, you can't open the door. So I opened the door with a credit card. Nah, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. lying. You're lying. I got in the room and they was in the bathroom, bro. And the door was like, I'm, I opened the door, bro. Like, both their <laughs> pants are down. Now, no one really paid any mind towards the comments that the ex-manager brought up during the podcast, and some may have thought that he was just airing out their dirty laundry because they never paid him, or that he was just lying to give them a bad reputation. 
But again, these comments went pretty much unnoticed up until recently. And I believe that's where we left off in the previous video. The Island Boys were falling off and were struggling to stay relevant online. One thing I do believe I missed was the fact that their home was recently raided in connection with a murder suspect in July of 2022, right before my original video was released. And one of the Island Boys went on to snitch on their friend for asking him to hide a gun for the friend before the police came barging through the door. Now, even though the Island Boys were raided, they weren't criminally charged in connection to the suspect. After this, they'd stay pretty silent on the internet. Like, they'd still post videos on TikTok and reply to the comments and act as if they weren't broke by flexing watches and chains. Man, stop playing. I just caught myself a vet, man. 21 years old, all iced up, man. Y'all want to hate, but look, look what I just got. Uh, look, look at the red interior. I'm a mama. Stop playing. Vet, I'm a mama's mind, you hear me? Hey, young is happy. Brr, but at this point, they were practically forgotten about from the online world. The Island Boys song was dead, and because they were a meme and held no other value other than being something to point and laugh at, their online popularity was completely gone. But in the summer of 2023, they'd hit an all-time low and would try literally anything in order to remain relevant. This strategy to become relevant again all started in the beginning of the summer when they'd start to promote their OnlyFans to their followers. But because they were forgotten about, they needed to act out on the internet in order for people to remember them and gain traction to their OnlyFans fans account. Drama Alert's Twitter account would tweet out a video of the Island Boys making out. And this was pretty horrible. These are two twin brothers who are 100% related to each other. And this, this is incest and it, extremely weird at this point. And when people started to call them out for their constant need for attention, they doubled down on their actions and uploaded even more videos of them kissing each other to the internet. It would tease their followers acting as if they were going to post videos with each other over on their OnlyFans account. This was when they'd really start to become relevant again but once again for all the wrong reasons they'd hop on the no jumper podcast for another interview where adam 22 would ask them their thinking process behind kissing each other and they'd say that they knew the clip would go viral because people hated them and they'd be shared with a bunch of people online they'd also say that they were heterosexual even though they were kissing each other in the video kind of by surprise yeah so it was kind of unexpected but um we kind of we started off by just showing us like with our underwear on Twitter and they're like, people were like, it was almost like they're like, you guys won't kiss. And I thought about it like for a couple of days and I'm like, wait, that'd be a good idea. I did some research on it, like kissing your brother, is it illegal? Is it a problem? Stuff like that. And it's actually not that big of a deal in some, in some religion, uh, religions, they do it. So yeah, I don't know about making out, but kissing, yeah. Okay, so when I think about making out with my sibling, like in my case, I have a sister, so it's kind of hard to imagine having a twin brother, but I feel, I don't know, like a natural biological sense of revulsion by the idea. And even like, well, I, I you know, I'm heterosexual, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But like, even I'm, I'm looking at one of my friends who's sitting right here and I'm, I'm trying to picture myself making out with them and it just really sounds unappealing. How did you get over that? Were you, were you disgusted by the idea at first? Or, or, or how, like, I, I don't even know where to go with this. Like, how, how did you feel about it? You know, we're, we're twin brothers. We came out the womb together. We grew up together. It's not really disgusting if, it, if it's twins. Um, your friend, you don't really know him like that. We're still heterosexual. Yeah, yeah. So it's, we still see. We kind of just made out or whatever. We kissed and then we just, like, looked the other way for... A, a few minutes and couldn't like you know look at each other but it wasn't that big of a deal it was just a ki kiss so it didn't Literally. feel sexual it no. didn't feel no if you don't put too much thought to it it didn't feel sexual <laughs> and then i thought about it i'm like well i guess i did text it to a couple of people so i i, I a lot of people apparently thought this was so newsworthy that they just kind of had to talk about it well it was, I, it was trending on academic space for sure Right, his yeah, his was probably like the biggest your mom, one. And like if your mom knew who we were, they're like something that talk about because people really don't like us. So like, hey, look, we got something on them. They kissed each other. So we kind of knew it would go viral. Then after this interview with Adam22, they'd start to do live streams with some of the biggest content creators within the streaming community. 
A day after the Adam-22 interview, Aiden Ross would go live with the Island Boys, and this would once again fill their need for clout. I can't show the clip because Aiden Ross team loves to claim videos that uses clips from his live streams, so yeah. But then, on August 7th, either the No Jumper Twitter account or the Island Boys themselves, honestly, I haven't looked again because it was pretty gross, posted a video of one of the Island Boys sucking off the other one. It, yeah, yeah, you heard that right. But they were trolling, and according to Oompaville, one of the Island Boys was actually sucking on Carrot. Nonetheless, it was uh, still was still very weird and controversial, but they knew that it would once again bring views onto their page. After this viral video, the Island Boys started to align themselves with another clout-hungry monster and Jack Doherty who I recently made a video on just about a week ago, so check it out if you haven't done so already. But this made the situation even worse. Because the Island Boys were practically always on Jack Doherty's live stream, we'd start to see more outbursts from them. Like when they got smacked by a content creator named Hanvi. Oh my god! <laughs> And also when they slapped Jack Doherty. Oh, 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 oh. But after their three months of fame, they'd fall off again. See, the issue with their kind of content and brand, which is like shock content, is that it's just a flash in the pan. They never got popular for being good at something. The first time that they went viral for their Island Boys song, people were shocked with the way they looked and spoke. This last time that they went viral was because of the shock and horror that came along with the video of them kissing each other. Yeah, this gave them some clout and eyes back on them for a few months, but because their brand is ever revolving around shock factor, their popularity will never be everlasting. And because they couldn't even build a fan base because of the way that they acted towards people online and in person, they couldn't even get people to like who they were as individuals. They weren't even likable, which was another reason why they couldn't remain relevant. We see people blow up on every platform, sometimes for controversial things, but people still personally like the individual, but they don't like their actions, which can't be said for the Island Boys. This was the second time within two years that they went viral, but again couldn't capitalize off of their virality, leaving them in a state of irrelevancy, but this probably won't be the last time that we see the Island Boys in drama. Mostly because if they align themselves with other clout-hungry creators, they will always have eyes on them. They are almost exactly like Jack Doherty. They both do things in order to get a buzz around their name, but they do not care who they hurt in the process. They are all leeches, and once they dry up one venture, they'll be on to the next one to use it until it runs dry as well. But this is the end of the video. How do you feel about the Island Boys and their constant need for clout? Is it worse than Jack Doherty's, or is Jack Doherty worse? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any creators or video ideas that you wanted me to take a look at or talk about, the best way you can suggest them to me is through my Instagram DMs or on my Discord. Now there are some major updates happening to the Discord server where you can earn Bills coins in order to buy roles within the server. So come check it out. If you found yourself enjoying the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out and gets us closer to 200,000 subscribers. And it also helps you stay up to date with the newer uploads to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Minecraft has been around for quite some time, and during that time, Minecraft became this big subgenre of gaming content on YouTube. These videos uploaded to the platform generated billions of views in total, and made the careers of many Minecraft content creators. But the genre wouldn't be without its flaws, because Minecraft catered more towards a kid audience.